Fortnite Live events are back finally. For the first time in over an entire chapter, we are getting an officially announced live event that isn't a chapter finale. We've been lacking that feeling that the island is alive. And you could definitely argue the mini events have helped with that, but this event has a countdown and teasers, and it's looking like it's going to set up for season 4. Now, of course, there will be some people who still consider this a mini event. I would honestly say its quality is comparable to the events in chapter 1, season 6, and 7 of Fortnite, which is pretty good considering a new creative director took over at the start of chapter 5, and within 3 seasons he hasn't done a bad job at telling the story. At least, I don't think so anyway. A lot of people disagree with that. So let's talk about it. What is it that will be happening in this live event? For people who don't want spoilers, cover your ears. Just like turn the volume down and scroll in the comments. And hey, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the video so far. A version of the map has been leaked for after the event, showing the pipeline exploded and Redline Rig replaced by Pandora's box. Yep, it's back again. The story seemed to be headed in a very hopeless direction where the Wanderer confirmed Megalodon's ship would tear apart the island. Turns out, like all good villains, he was lying, and he had his own plans to summon Pandora's box for the third time, and I'm saying, oh, he did this, he did that, who is this Wanderer guy? Well, look, storyline fans, you're gonna have to take a seat for this one, okay? I know you want it to be an original character. I know in the back of your head, maybe it's Jenna or the Nothing or... Yeah, no, it's, it's not an original character. Now, there's actually new dialogue in the game, which kind of proves this. It says the island's been doomed before by a mystical box-shaped villain, even. Nice nod to Kevin the Cube. But it also says, if the Wanderer is who I think he is, this place may be doomed. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, okay? I wanted it to be the Nothing or Geno 2, but it's just not. So if the Wanderer is Doctor Doom and he wants to summon Pandora's box again, why under Redline Rig? Well, there are a lot of theories going around right now that Pandora's box was always under Redline Rig and it was actually the source of the Nitro itself. Itself. That would make sense considering that when the box was struck with lightning, it bled a sort of acidic looking liquid, meaning that season 1 was about uncovering Pandora's box, season 2 was the death of it, and season 3 was people abusing its resources. It's sort of becoming a zero point type of figure in the story, and I'm down for it as long as it's not super repetitive. One thing I'm not that big of a fan of is all the dialogue this update seems to be like, we're heading into a war, like you, you have to win this war next season, and it's like... That's kind of been every season. Season 1, War Against a Society, who were the new faction on the island because they kidnapped Peely. Season 2, The War Against Zeus and the Gods. Season 3, The War Against the Wasteland. And Season 4, The War Against Doctor Doom. Like, that's a lot of war. Of course, it makes me reflect back on the days of the story where it was sort of more of an overarching plot. Like, the prime example is Chapter 2, Season 5 to Chapter 2, Season 8. That whole thing was about the Imagined Order trying to fend off the last reality. Like, those whole four seasons built up to that. It wasn't like a brand new story at the start of every season like it is now, but if that's how Charlie One wants to tell things, that's up to him, not me. Now, I get that I'm kind of bagging this man a bit. You know, I'm doing him a bit dirty. How about we give the man some praise for making a live event three seasons into his career? Like, that's pretty solid, man. From Ethan Assist on Twitter, the fourth stage of the Nitro Pipeline is now live. The pipeline is now fully completed, with the final piece injecting the fuel slowly with a countdown for four days. The live event will take place on Saturday the 10th at 2pm Eastern Time. Just convert that into your time zone, you can just type 2pm ET into Google and it will come up with what it is in your time zone. So there we go. It seems like Meg will try to start up his ship, but it won't work, because the Wanderer will resurface Pandora's box, which was the fuel of the Nitro, and when it's exposed, I guess the Nitro just doesn't work. I don't know, man. I'm a bit confused, but, like, this event hopefully explains what I'm confused about, you know? Nonetheless, I'm still really excited to see events back, and I'll see you all on the 10th to see how this all unfolds. I seriously reckon I just said see, like, five times. Alright, see ya.